guys, this is Bonnie from Manhattan, New York. So I'm coming to you guys with a, another video. So I am a little bit under the weather, so you guys have to forgive me. Um, and I will have a haul coming up soon. Um, I'll have a shopping haul coming up. Um, but I want to say hi guys. Bella saying hi so I have a good family update my brother got released from juvenile I don't know if it's jail or whichever one it is but I'm happy that he's home now he's 19 so that's not a place for a young man to go especially since he brought his 19th birthday in there um, he said he'd been home I guess today next three days so that's a super cool family update as for me. Um, yeah, he's a goofball in the family, so that makes us complete. <laughs> but as for me, my teeth, what am I using on my teeth is the sensitive, Colgate sensitive whitening toothpaste. As I told you guys, um, I have videos where I didn't even brush my teeth yet. And I record, and it is a very, very good whitener. I feel like crap. I just took some um, Alka Seltzer night nighttime cold and flu. I two large pills, by the way. And hopefully, it kicks in within the next hour because my head has been hurting me all day. Um, I spoke to an ex of mine. I haven't really talked about relationship on my channel. Um, cause like I am, I try to endorse to you guys that I am waiting to get married. So I want to wait for the perfect person. Like I don't just want to give myself away to any and anybody. I want it to be the perfect person, the right person. So that being said, I am waiting. So I'm going to be celibate and not have sex until... I get married like I broke it I broke that promise when I was engaged we started having sex when we were engaged and yeah I'm gonna wait until I get married to have sex again so that's my 2015 resolution and that's what I'm going to be doing sex doesn't change much anyways uh, it relieves stress but really how much because then more stress comes so um what else mm. yeah I'm still cleaning my house trying to get it uh oh have my dress inside out I'm still cleaning my house trying to get it in order I have to do a lot of laundry I have like 12 bags of laundry to do but I just don't get the time I, I'm a full-time student I have two classes on Monday two classes on Wednesdays one class on Tuesday one class on Thursday and one class on Friday I go to work from 9 to 5 on Tuesday 9 to 12 30 on Wednesday and 9 to 5 on Thursday not to mention um my two classes that I do have on Tuesday, on the other day, on Wednesday, plus I work that day. So I have a jam-packed schedule. During the week, I have, um, let me count this exactly. I wake up every morning at 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1. So I have six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have eight hours from five o'clock in the morning when I wake up on Monday till one o'clock in the afternoon when I have to leave my house to make sure I'm in school by three for my two classes on Monday. That's not a lot of time because technically if we're looking from a nine to five schedule and I have to go to a doctor's appointment or anything, 
then we move from 10, 11, 12, 1. That's only four hours. What can you really do in four hours? You sit down and wait for at least two and a half. Um, so far, I've canceled two ophthalmologist appointments. Um, regular doctor visits, I've canceled two as well. Uh, I have to schedule my GYN, but I was changing over insurance, so I have to call and schedule it. For this month, because I'm due for my annual, my annual PAP, just a reminder for those women out there, you guys know you're supposed to do a PAP um, once a year. So, yeah, I'm putting that out there for you guys. Make sure you get yourself checked. Women from the age 18 and up are supposed to get a PAP smear done once a year. Everything else, every other testing is, is whether you want to or you feel like you're unsafe or you feel like something is wrong. And I learned most of this in Health Education Class 100. Thank you, college courses. Because <laughs> they will teach you this. You know, I got um, some heat thrown at me. I got some um, shade. Yes, there we go. I had some shade thrown at me for the topics that I put on my YouTube video. My YouTube video, by a couple of people, they threw me some shade. And I was like, are you serious? Like, YouTube... YouTube is an open field. You know what I'm saying? You can find everything. You can watch people give birth on YouTube. Like, are you serious? Does that stop them from getting a job or working where they want to work? Like, there's several women that I've watched them have birth on YouTube. Does that stop them from working how they need to work or anything like that? Like, I think that is so ridiculous. But because I'm not one to follow up every foolishness, if I think it's foolishness, I could listen and just walk away because I'm just like, at the end of the day, this is what keeps me going. I've lost so much in the past couple of years. This is me. This is what keeps me going. This YouTube, I picked it up during the midst of my adoption with my kids. And that was in 2000 and... Well, before the adoption of my kids. Right before I got pregnant, I just knew something was wrong. In 2006, I picked up YouTube. And before that, I had dropped it off. I picked up YouTube when it wasn't even YouTube. It was just like this channel where you could post your blogs. And then finally, this guy, he bought it and he named it YouTube. Um, I was had to be about 10 or 11. People were just posting videos. And you could just Google the videos and find it on the Internet. And then it, and then it finally became YouTube. And all those videos became combined and, and all this stuff. You know what I'm saying? And... This, this right here, this, um, they've won so much awards. They haven't even won enough awards to, to even express what they've done for so many people's lives, including mine. Um, I'm 23. I, I'm struggling financially, not to mention I do live on my own in a two bedroom. I have two kids and a cat. So it, it 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 doesn't even and that was before before I even got here. Before I am where I am today, I was on YouTube when I was just like when I grow up, I want a two bedroom. Anything smaller, I don't want to live in there. <laughs> like I'd always dream big and that is when I joined YouTube. So this I can't even explain to you. It's been a long time coming, and I had a, before I was like, I'm never going to go on a, on a TV and let people know and let them look down on me and judge me for what's going on in my life. Oh, no. You know people are going to try to act funny and act like it's not going on with them. But I got over all of that, and here I am, world. Accept me. Hate me. I love me. Um, I have a lot of experience, and I believe that whoever is watching me will benefit from it, and... They will understand little bit by little bit. So, again, guys, this is Bonnie from Manhattan, New York. And this was just a babbling life update coming to you guys in a video for this week. Again, this is Bonnie from Manhattan, New York. Be blessed as I will do the same. Mwah.